So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can select parts of the image and copy and paste them in, similar to using the cloning tool, but you're going to use something called feathering, which is, I prefer, if I'm honest. Now, when you select the lasso tool, so if you go down and go to lasso, there are lots of different ways you can do it. Now, polygon lasso tool, that allows you to click from point to point, kind of like a dot to dot. And we've also got magnetic that kind of keeps it to the edge. Uh, so I'll demonstrate this to you. Now, as soon as I hold down my mouse and start drawing around it, it the magnetic tool tries to draw around the edge. Now, I'll be honest, I don't like this as much because you can see it doesn't get a really accurate edge. So that's not perfect. Now, then we've also got polygon where you can click around the edge like so. Now, again, depending on how much patience and time you've got will depend on that one. Uh, so I'm just going to click off that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the lasso select, which is basically freehand drawing. Now up here, you can feather. What that basically means is that your edge is not going to be really, really rigid. So I tend to use feathering so that in fact, if I show you what it looks like without it first, so I'm going to just draw around it. This is going to be really rough. Okay, and then I'm going to go edit and copy, edit and paste. Now, you'll notice it's gone onto another layer, but what you can do is select the move tool and move that apart. Now, what you can see particularly over here when I move the picture to the left is the difference in the coloration. Um, but if I move, it's not so bad if I move it around here, it's not as noticeable. Now, what I'm going to show you this time is I'm going to use the same tool, but this time I'm going to turn feathering on. I'm, I'm going to use a bigger number just so you can see how it works. So I'm just going to draw around. Now, the good thing about feathering is depending on your background, you don't need to be as accurate. And I'll explain why in a minute. It's because it gives you this little blur around the edge of it. So if I go to edit copy and edit paste now, now if I select my move tool and move it, can you see it kind of gives you that little blur. So if you want to kind of create effects where it looks like something is got a shadow on it, or you're trying to make it look a little bit warped, you can do it that way. Or maybe you just want to make pictures look like they've been a little bit blurred or they're a little bit transparent on your picture. Now, I'll just do that again now. Uh, if you are doing this, you will need to go on to the main layer, okay? Uh, so I'm going to go on this. This time I'm going to take this down to about 10, so it's not as harsh, so you can see the difference. So I'm going to take it down to 10, all right? And I'm drawing around that. If I go to edit, copy, edit, paste. And I'm going to move that. So you can see there's a bit of a difference there. So depending on how much you feather it will depending on the impact of the picture. So that is the feathering tool. And we use that with the selection tool or the lasso tool and give that a go. Try that in today's lesson.